Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make these cool looping photos on single slides directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. So we'll start off with a blank presentation simply by going to File, New, Blank Presentation, then right click on the background, choose Layout and Blank. Now let's add our photos. We'll go to Insert, I'm going to quickly add them from the stock library. But you can get them from anywhere you want. I'm just going to add six images. I type scenic. You can tick all six photos or however many you want and click insert. PowerPoint will add them in at a default size. And I'm going to size them down for now just so we can work with them and get the looping right. And then we'll size them up to full screen. So control and the mouse wheel to zoom out a bit. Grab the corner handle and pull it in. So it's about this size, so I can fit them all on the same screen. Now we need to crop it so it's a 16 to 9 ratio, which means it will fit perfectly full screen. And to do that, while we're clicked on it, we can go to Picture Format, Crop, Aspect Ratio, and select this one here, 16 to 9. You can crop it however you want. I'm just going to press Enter, and that's cropped it 16 to 9. So when we size it up to full screen, it will fit perfectly. So now I'm going to quickly paste in my other images just to save time, and there they are. So how we want this to work in this example is this image here, which will be the first one, will be always on. And then these five subsequent images will fade on and then all fade off. And we use some audio to be able to loop that perfectly on one slide. So if I click on this one here, then hold down shift and click on these subsequent ones. And then under animations, we choose fade. We need the animation pane for this, so we'll click here to reveal that. I also want to add an additional animation, which is a fade off. So I'll make sure they're all selected again. And this time go to add animation and under exit, I'm going to choose fade. So at the moment, they'll all fade on and all fade off. So now let's add an audio file and we're going to use that to be able to loop these fading images. So we'll go to insert audio, record audio. We don't have to name this because we're only using one sound. I'm going to click record and then wait 15 seconds in this example and press stop. It doesn't have to be exact. So let's click record. And there's my roughly 15 second recorded clip and we'll click OK. A little icon will appear here. I'm simply going to drag this out of the way just so I can see where it is easily to be able to get to it to make any changes. So the first thing I'm going to do on this is go to playback and set this option here called loop until stopped in the audio options. I'm also going to go to volume and set it to mute. That's just in case there's any audio captured. We don't want the sound. We just want to use it to loop these photos. So now this 15 second audio file will play muted and loop continuously. And to trigger these pictures, we're going to hit play and then stop and right at the beginning, we're about 0.8 of a second in there. I'm going to add a bookmark. And to do that, there's this option here, add bookmark. And you can see it puts this little yellow dot in and it calls it bookmark one by default. These are great because you can actually sync up anything you want with these bookmarks. So now I'm going to click on the first picture I want to reveal. If I go to animations and then under advanced animation, there's this option here with a lightning bolt called trigger. By default, you can trigger it on the click of something, which is one of the other elements on the page, but you can also now choose bookmark. And that's going to trigger it on the bookmark we've just added in the recorded sound. And from the animation pane, you can see how that works. Now we can drag all these other animations into our trigger. So if I click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the second and drag them down here. The first thing that will happen is that this sound will play. And I'm going to set this to start with previous. So as the slide starts, the sound plays. Then we can just rearrange some of these and put in delays and we're done. This red star here is the fade off of the first image we want. And I'm going to drag that to these fades here. So effectively what we've got is the five images fading on, then the five images fading off. I'm just going to expand this window slightly here. I'm going to click on the first one and choose with previous and then on all these subsequent ones holding down shift I can click to select them all I'm going to choose after previous. 
So at the moment, the images all fade on and then fade off. And now I'm just going to add a small delay to each one of those so that they're up for a nice amount of time before fading off. For example, I'm going to choose two seconds, which will fit into the 15 second audio file that I have. I also want this fade off here to be delayed by two seconds. And so in the Windows version of PowerPoint, you can see easily what's happening in this animation pane. Unfortunately, the Mac one is slightly different at the moment, but you can still add these delays and you can still open up this file to see what I'm doing. I will put a link to my Patreon in the description below where you can download this source file if you want to see how it works. Then I select picture 32 here, hold down shift and select these to happen with previous. So now you should better see what's happening in here. The pictures will all fade on with a two second delay. And then after another two seconds, they will all fade off. And because the recorded sound is looping and triggering the first picture, it will continue looping as long as you're on the slide. I also want to have the two second delay on this first image, just so they're all spaced equally. So we'll now run that to test. And after two seconds, each subsequent image will appear. And they'll all fade off and start again. So that's a great looping intro that can be used on anything and you can easily change the photos. We'll just quickly make them full screen now and check we've got them in the right order. And that's why I've kept them small so we can work with them easily without having to keep moving things to the back or bringing things to the front. So the easiest way I like to do this is just to click on these and set them up in the right order first. And they're all correct but you can easily right click on any of them, bring to front, center back, or push them backwards or forwards, depending on where you want them. You can also go to home, arrange, selection pane, and adjust the orders and the visibility from there. We'll just go back to the animation pane. So now I'm going to align these to the top left, which you can do either by dragging it or going align left, align top, then click on the bottom right corner and drag, and it should just snap into position. So there's our looping photos, which all look great. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you, you can easily add an overlay with a title on this that looks really nice. So if I go onto the drawing section, click on rectangle, click anywhere, drag this to the top corner, drag it out to the bottom right corner. It will snap into position. I'm going to set the shape fill to black, the shape outline to no outline, then right click on it and choose format shape and change the fill to anything you want. Something like 50 will do. Now add some text. So we'll click on the text box. I just type the word scenic. And I'm going to make it fig tree extra bold 180, drag it out, align the text to the middle, choose white, align it to the center and to the middle. And I'm actually going to go to text options and change the transparency slightly. Something like 25% will allow some of the background to show through. And let's run that. Great, so we now have a single slide that's looping in PowerPoint with six powerful images that are great use for any intro to any presentation. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert and make stunning slides, watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like the video, please click the like button. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.